Here's what I find interesting. Oh, it's really rainy today. Look at this. Remember how sunny day it was yesterday? Just rainy, rainy, rainy. It's funny, the videos I do on, say, the jet powered skateboard, you know, I'm up to like nine videos in a, sort of, of those now, sort of part nine. They don't get as many views and comments and sort of feedback on average as videos like this, where you sort of come along with me for the day, you know, like up here, up at a farm, up, you know, like just random stuff and following me around. The comments seem to be saying, you know, I want more CNC stuff, I want more workshop stuff, but the views and comments on the particular videos where I don't do that stuff are more, there's more of them. There's, it confuses me. It's as if some people are saying one thing, but the majority are kind of displaying the opposite. I don't know. I'll just keep asking, I'll just keep doing things, and we'll see how it unfolds. Now, what I was gonna show you is I've got something here. Um, get my table. So what I was going to show you is this. Recently I offered a leather case, hand stitched, handmade, hand everything, leather case with the titanium tweezers I make. It's my son's mother that does that, she's, she's sort of good at that stuff, um, very good at that stuff, and so she's doing that. And so yeah, I've been working with her this morning actually, and we sort of come up with this. Now this is a very rough prototype, very rough, I want to make that clear. But what we've got here is this. It's too, it's too bit dark, right, there, there we go, there we go. It's a bit brighter now. So hopefully you can see that. This is a leather case for the titanium pen. Like I said, very rough, but a lot of people have asked for it. It's something I want to do, so we've just start, whoa. So we've just started developing it. Thought I'd give you that sneak peek there. I think it's gonna work quite well. <laughs> what are you doing with the sex? The great thing about chickens is that you can feed them chicken food, like this, and you can just feed them scraps from the house, all the old meals that you don't eat, whatever's left over. They're very, very versatile animals. They don't eat at all. Oh, they don't eat at all. Look, an egg. Say bye to me, not the camera. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to? Oh. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Have a right. good trip. See you later. See Thanks, you later. Bye Take bye. care. Bye. Take care. Quick stop at the beach on the way down. We're about halfway. Gonna get some nice footage of the waves. Great waves. Don't know if you can see them right now, but this lens is too wide angled, you probably won't see them. You'll be able to see them with this though at some point in the video. Just figured out a way to do um, my video from like my own perspective. Look at that! It can just like look at what I do. Check it out. Can 
it's working really well. Right, just back from being down the coast now. It's a long drive, like three hours usually isn't too bad a drive, but down there it's like windy, windy road, non-stop, and you know, if you're driving, your shoulders get tired. If you drive too fast, you start feeling sick. It's, it's all good though, it's all good. We're back now. Right, jet engine. What I'm gonna do is what I wanted to do the other day, which was, Right, so what I wanted to do the other day with the jet engine is I was wanting to take this red part off, you know, the main clamp that surrounds it. Had no tools, however. Big bunch of Allen keys and whatnot. So let's take it off. <laughs> So, there we go. It looks a lot plainer now, like just looks weird. Doesn't look as doesn't look as good with that red strapping. However, I am hoping and and you know what? I'm not even hoping. I know it's going to look way better with titanium strips, like 3 2 3 titanium strips around here. I think I'll do it titanium anyway. I'm not sure if I'll polish them or not, but I think that's going to look damn good on the skateboard. It's a lot smaller now. It feels a lot smaller in the hand, which is pretty cool. It means without that bigger surround on it, if I can make it more more tighter fitting and round and, and have it curling in right down underneath on the skateboard, it means it'll be more compact, more room for the electrical stuff to go and that kind of thing really. You know, I just have an order to sort of put it on the skateboard again and just see how it looks. No reason, just, I just want to. <laughs> Oh, let's put it on the right way around. That could be risky. Get hot feet, that's for sure. So, that's looking a bit more streamlined. I mean, you look at that. Looking a bit slicker, a bit neater, a bit cleaner. That's... You know what? I'm starting to think... You know, I'm not sure about putting like two or three titanium straps on here. I mean, this looks so clean as it is. I mean, you look at that. Just ultra, ultra simple. I'm wondering if there's some other way to mount it, perhaps. Maybe one strap? Carbon fiber strap around the top of it? I don't know. Although I think I do need to move a bit faster on this. Like, I talk more about it than I actually do in terms of getting it up and running. The thing is, I'm really in no mad rush. Like, truthfully, I really am enjoying this project. I'm enjoying documenting it, sharing it with you, taking my time, figuring out. I mean, even through the frustrating times, trying to get it going initially, I, I'm enjoying it. This is a fun project. You know, like, it's kind of like, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be a shame once it's over, so perhaps I'm dragging it out a little longer than I really need to. But that's just for my own amusement. Right, that is really all I have for you today. Short video, shortest in a while, but that's okay. It's been a different couple of days, what with traveling around. But because I've been away from the usual workshop and things like that, I've been thinking, I've been philosophizing and strategizing, I thought I'd leave you with a quote that's in line with that. It's by Tom Preston Werner, and he said, when I'm old and dying, I plan to look back on my life and say, whoa, that was an adventure. Not, whoa, I sure felt safe. Oh,